Welcome back to the Red Crew. Today we're going to be recapping UFC 290. Before we start, I'm going to introduce you everybody. To my left, I have David, What's and behind the on? camera, uh, producing, we have Josh. We're not going to put him on the camera yet. Going on? We have a big reveal eventually. Uh, when, when we feel that you guys are ready. Uh, we're going to be recapping UFC tonight. What do you think about it, Devin? It's fucking great, man. You actually watched the, pre was, uh, the prelims, huh? Prelims were good uh, from top to bottom. Uh, a bunch of like first round finishes. It's, it was a good one. Yeah, you told me that you had like there was like three or four that were uh, first round finishes? Yeah. Uh, something around there. Like we, we even saw one on the main card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was good. It was a good car. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Next, uh, next fight, the I don't know if you call this co main event. But it's the last fight of the card. It's Alexander Volkanovsky versus Jair Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. Did we see it going any other way? I was going for Rodriguez uh, just because I like how he, he fights and stuff. And um, just because I remember we were talking about how uh, Volkanovsky seemed like he wasn't... Um, I wouldn't say taking the fight seriously, but like he was worried about other shit, right? And yeah, you wanna yeah, you wanna yeah. focus on the fucking your, He was your, already your, thinking about guard, uh, you know? about Makachev. Makachev again. Yeah. yeah. And then you said he talked about him again after mm -hmm. the fight. So yeah. I mean I guess it's good, you know. If he was confident enough that he would he could yeah. take Rodriguez out, he was like already looking past him, but um yeah that guy's a fucking beast dude <laughs> Did you, we fucking, were talking about how strong he was he's fucking strong his back is rippled in muscles <laughs> and anytime he was oh, getting shit. he was get, getting a takedown there was no no objection from yari rodriguez literally he would pick him up drop him down at the end dude yeah. he had him rocked and all he did was get him to the fence pick him up put him down and knock him out yeah he's he's a beast man he's like a fucking pit bull in there dude uh-huh yeah, he's a small, short, stocky guy, but yeah. apparently that fucking works in that weight class, man. Cause yeah, yeah, so. I feel like everybody he fights is taller than him. Like he doesn't give a sh he doesn't care. Let's see what the stats were. But see, and this is what I was thinking about. He's the only person who I see Alexander Volkanovsky mm -hmm. using his short height as an advantage. Yeah, because cool. he like he has Yair kind of kneel down to actually fight him instead yeah. of. Instead of doing what he needs to do. But he has to do that because if he doesn't do that, then he's not ready for the takedowns. But it doesn't really matter because Alexander Volkanovsky is such a good wrestler that he was getting them anyways. He's strong as hell. Yeah. This, this is the first time he used a lot of his wrestling. And that, yeah, and that's yeah. what they were saying. It's yeah. the first time they used... Well, in a while, I guess you could yeah. say. Cause he's, they seem utilizing the, the, that wrestling. Yeah. <sighs> good game plan from him. I yeah. mean... Um, he got him out there, what, third round? Second third, round? Yeah. yeah. The, the first, beginning mean, of the yeah. third round. No, no need to take him to the, the end to of the, the deep round. waters. Yeah. yeah, just get him out of there. And uh, yeah, I remember him throwing uh, Yair yeah, throwing like one of his crazy kicks that usually lands like on <laughs> on fighters' chest and yeah. hit him in the yeah, head. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this short ass motherfucker. Dude. <laughs> 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 it's usually hitting people here, and then he got fucking <laughs> chin slapped with the foot. I was like, yeah, yeah. man. This is but um, yeah, Yair, yeah, he couldn't. I don't know if he just couldn't find the range or what, but he just. Those takedowns mm -hmm. fucked him up, man. He he couldn't do nothing down there. What's what's uh next for uh, Volkanovski? Volkanovski? Well, obviously he wants that Makachev, yeah. which is, um, I think it's smart because Makachev is gonna rip up anybody else mm -hmm. in his division. I think um, he's too good. And, you think so? Uh, you don't think he beats uh, uh, Oliveira, Poirier, Gagey, Darius? Darius. I like probably... uh, Oliveira to fight him. Um, just because I'm a big fan. Of, yeah, yeah, I know. But um, I think uh, Oliveira after his last fight, he looked fucking good, man. He looked really good, and um, I think if he carries that momentum into a Makachev fight, he yeah. could he could probably even it out, you know? Because okay. obviously the, 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 with, with Makachev, the last the last fight was pretty one sided. Okay. Um, Makachev was too good yeah. that night. Th this weight class is so stacked. It's we got Dustin crazy. and Justin. Fighting here in two weeks. That one's going to be good. So they're not going to be fighting Makachev anytime soon. Yeah, exactly. Benil Darius just lost to Oliveira. Mm -hmm. Michael Chandler is in the, is in the uh, Ultimate Fire, who's supposedly, supposedly supposed to be fighting Conor McGregor. McGregor. But apparently, we'll Conor see. McGregor didn't uh, test for Usada. So we don't even know if that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, who knows? So. Dude. The only person that I, you completely correct that, that that I can see fighting Makachev again is in Oliveira. that division 
Yeah, it's, of course. It's of course. Oliveira. Yeah, because, man, what what division did they fight for? Who? Uh, Volkanovski and him. Oh, he went up. Vol- Volkanovski went up to, to lightweight. Oh, okay. So it would have been... If if Volkanovski would have won, mm. it would have been a double champ at the lightweight and the featherweight division. Got it. Okay. So, yeah, now nah, that makes sense. I, I say uh, run it back with Oliveira. Hopefully, Oliveira comes back, like... Because I, I remember that fight. I, I saw Oliveira different, just like I was saying. Like, I saw kind of Whitaker different. Yeah. Like, I don't, I, I don't know what but it like was. like the opposite way of Whitaker, right? Um, Whitaker, you saw him different, like, in the bad way. No, no, that's what I meant. Like, yeah, Oliveira, yeah. I saw him, like, not really himself, you know? So um, In the uh, Makachev fight? In the Makachev ah, fight, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. He was, I don't know, he was, he was like, too nice, you know? Gotcha. I, I don't like that shit, you know? Like, he's about to fight. <laughs> he's about to fight. The, to fight. He's about to fight yeah, this guy, like, it. fuck it, like. Respect him after yeah. the fight, mm-hmm. not not during or not. Well, exa- Well, I mean, yeah. not before. You know, you don't want to give him that that edge on you. But uh, I think Oliveira comes out better on the next one, better fight, and then we'll see. You know, um, I think this. Damn, year- Oliveira Volk, that'd be fucking crazy too. <laughs> Who do you think has that one? I don't know, dude. Because I, I think maybe we, Volk, we we noticed that Volk has great exactly. wrestling, right? Yeah, but is it better than than Oliveira's jiu-jitsu? Hmm. Oliveira's got some power too, but fucking Volk can eat anything. Like yeah. he's he's just a he beast. likes some rocks for breakfast, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't know, man. That one's tough. That one's tough because I feel like Volk, although he's lighter, he's fucking strong. Yeah. So we like, saw that today. yeah, yeah, he's fucking strong. So uh, that's a tough, that's a tough him? one for me. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I I wouldn't be able to say right now, but um, yeah, I, I like um, Oliveira versus Makachev for the next fight. Yeah, or obviously Volk and Makachev if he just waits for that fight. But uh, I don't know. I, 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 I see Makachev as someone who wants to stay active. So yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, we'll so. see. But Volk, yeah, for Volk, if it's not Makachev, I don't know who, man, because he's he tears everybody uh, up. Then that's a problem. Yeah, so he's he's, he's, he's got to get out through of his division. division. Yeah, he's got to he get out. He has nobody nearly what's, comparing what's under to him? him. What's what's the name? Jair, who just fought Max yeah. Holloway, who he's beat like three times. No, Brian Ortega, Arnold no. Allen, uh, Ilya Tupuri, no. Josh Emmett, Calvin Cater, Chang Sung Yung, Guy Gija. After that, it doesn't really matter. I mean, <laughs> like, he's just on another level. He's, he's so much on another yeah. level that they're thinking he might not even that Islam Makachev might not even beat him. Yeah, who do you who do you think wins the fight? Because Islam Makachev fifth, uh, it was a decision fight. It was a decision, which it was a split decision. I thought Volk did pretty good. I, I, I maybe I'm a little biased, you know, because I was like, fuck Makachev because he beat Oliveira, but. Uh, <laughs> I thought he, uh, I thought it was, it was more even than a lot of people thought. I thought Volk. I gotta rewatch the fight to say that he won it, but um, I at least thought it was closer than maybe some of the scorecards or something. Cause Volk did good, man. Yeah. And if you look at Makachev after that fight, he looked like fucking Pantera mm-hmm. after fighting Moreno. You yep. know? So um, yeah, I don't I don't know about that one. But uh, yeah, I think uh, a rematch between him and Makachev would be fun too. Okay. Um, so on the other side of it, Rodriguez. Rodriguez, yeah, that's. Who do we feed Rodriguez to? I mean, I think Rodriguez does good uh, against anyone in that division too. When that's a problem. Yeah, because it's like, like uh, I don't. Know, there's not really like a formula to get back to the belt, right? Because mm-hmm. obviously you got to wait for the champ to fight whoever he wants to fight. And then you got to fight someone yourself, right? Yeah. But, like, everybody at the moment is under you. So, it's like you don't progress really yeah. fighting anybody. It's kind of like a, it's just a shit position when you lose as a first contender, mm-hmm. you know? So, I don't know. But he's good, man. He, uh, he'll he be fine against anyone, I think. It's just, um, um, I don't know if it takes one fight or two fights to get back to that, that title, you know? A so let, let's see the, the rankings, right? The rankings is, is is Max Holloway's next. That'd be cool. Max versus uh They fought already. They fought already, yeah. but that, I think yeah, I think he, he takes it again against Max Holloway. Byron Ortega. 
They Ortega would be good because they're both pretty good wrestling, but they like striking. Mm -hmm. So they fought already. They fought beginning of the, literally the same time last year. Who won? Uh, Rodriguez. Okay, yeah, I would I would say that makes sense. Yeah. Ortega's Ortega's like 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 Whitaker right now. He's just been in the game so long. It's like yeah, he's not as reliable as he used to be. So okay. I can Arnold, see that. Allen, Ilian, Tupra. Let's see. Arnold Allen. Arnold Allen looks like he's young. That might be a good one. Have they fought? No. They haven't fought, but he lost against Holloway. It's 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 so hard, man. You, you're not. Whenever you are at that position, Damn, yeah. Well, Max Holloway yeah. is like one of those guys too. You don't know who's showing mm -hmm. up. Sometimes he could just be fucking on point, just fucking yeah. boxing people out, or he could lose to like fucking uh -huh. yeah, your Rodriguez and Ilya Tupura, Tupuria or Topuria, or however you want to say his name, <laughs> is a guy that that Volk Volk started talking to whenever he got out of the out of the cage. Remember? That's the guy. Yeah, you oh, asked me. Oh shit! Okay, so, and, and he's ranked what number four? Let's see. Oh, he's the one that beat up Josh Emmett yeah. in the last one. He's ranked number five. So he... he he Good enough to fight the yeah. champ, I say. Uh, anything and uh, anything after five, no, nah, you got to fight someone in the five and then go for the champ. But uh, anything in the in the first five, I think is good enough to fight But you think he champ. fights Volkanovski? Like, Volkanovski won. It's superior than most people in this mm -hmm. division. All people in this division. Yeah. He's going to be fighting Makachev next. Mm. When that happens, I don't know. I would think yeah. that it's probably by the end of the year because yeah. he looked like he was on face in this fight. Yeah, this is a little too easy for him. So I think the only other person that he can fight that might give him a little bit of trouble is... Maybe that guy. He lost okay. against Max Holloway. Yeah. But you feed him to Yair. Feed him yeah. to Ortega. Yeah. I could see that. Um, but they, they did a little face-off. Like, there was, like, something there. So maybe yeah, it's just, like... I, really, I take that with a grain of salt because, yeah. like we said... Alexander Volkanovski, if, if if it does happen, it's going to be Alexander Volkanovski fights Makachev. Okay. After he finds Makachev, then he fights uh, like Ilya. Yeah, but by that, I, if I'm Ilya, like I want to fight somebody, I want to make some money. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, but I also don't know. want to lose stock, right? Yeah. So if I if I lose to anybody, well, above you, kinda, me, you said it earlier, like yeah, he'll take Yair while he's doing the Makachev. And, yeah, fight. that's what I, that's why I think yeah. that fight makes sense. Yeah. And then, you know, they meet up yeah. on the other side of those fights, you know. So that'd be good, actually. It, but, is um, it, it, w can you say you can feed it into or you can give him to Yair Rodriguez, being that he locks Max Holloway? Nah, it's, it's, still, uh, it's still someone that's above you, right? Let me, let me just make sure so that gets, I get my, get my you information closer. correctly. I said Ilya. Ilya lost to... Oh, actually, never mind. He hasn't he hasn't fought Max Holloway. My oh. apologies. Uh, yeah, I say definitely give him to to Yair, or Holloway, or Ortega. Yeah, yeah. He's he's got to fight someone above him. You know. Yeah. Just uh, that's just how the shit works, right? Mm -hmm. Like you need to climb up a little bit. Yep, yep. yep. And um, I think any of those fights, like I, I, I can't, I can't. I remember, I I remember him fighting Emmett, and he yeah. fucking that guy's face was fucked up after that <laughs> fight. <laughs> that one was bad, but um, he's a good striker, man. Mm -hmm. So really, any of those, you know, like Holloway's a good striker. Um, Rodriguez was a good striker, not today, but he's a good striker. Um, Ortega's more, I would say, he's, well, he's got a little bit of both. A, more well rounded, you could say. So yeah, any any one of those three really, they're all good. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's a UFC that 290 post-fight analysis. Let us know what you think. We have uh, Mr. David over here, who is our UFC uh, professional. Yeah, I watch, he, I watch UFC. Everything about the UFC. <laughs> and you have me. I'm the amateur. Uh, I'm the one that watches it every other weekend just to see what's going on. And, and we just kind of roll with the punches, just like so yeah, you guys did. Yep. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to let us know what you think about everything do, that we do. Uh, um, follow us <laughs> on our other social medias, Instagram, TikTok. And I'm sure we'll we'll see each other some other day. Some other time. Uh, don't forget to come back for the 291 fight. We're actually going to be there. Nice. So yeah. don't judge us if we are not in our senses. <laughs> but until next time. Nice. Peace. Deuce.